Hello, welcome to the first episode of Upscale This, the show where I take some of the best older games, old-ish games, and um, blow them up to, I guess, today's standards. High resolution, high frame rates. Maybe not high frame rates. Maybe not high frame rates this time. Yeah, no. Today we're looking at Speed Freaks. Speed, Speed Freaks punks. slash punks. So Speed Freaks is the European release of the American Speed Punks. I'm not even sure if it was released in Japan. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. But you probably played more of this when you were a kid than I was. Yeah, like a shit ton. Like my family were poor and we didn't couldn't afford like to buy like the good shit. Like the PS1 Xbox. games were really expensive. Back they were so well. expensive. Yeah. Oh my god. I had a I got a pre-owned PS1. Yeah. With and it came with Speed Freaks, Crocs, Crash Bandicoot 1, and um some other bullshit game. I had Speed Freaks for racing. Yeah. And it was honestly the best racing game I've ever played. Like, nothing has come close to nothing the fun ever. of racing. Oh, like, okay. Mario Kart is good. Yeah. And everyone loves Mario Kart, but Speed Freaks it just has something about it that's just like. Yeah, it's. Well, I mean, there aren't many other games out there that have that level of charm and style and maybe not. Accessibility because the controls are. Oh, the controls are fucked up. <laughs> this is the PS1 though, so like no good engine. You can't say that though because Crash Team Racing works surprisingly it well. It does actually. PS1. It does actually. I think this is like one of those like they put a lot of effort into like the characters and the yeah. art style and just the mechanics that they forgot that off. driving works. Like the, all the effort they put into everything that wasn't the mechanics, yeah, no, they paid off. I got good at the driving on but, that. Yeah, the driving you can kind of like acclimate to. It doesn't take too. It takes a little. It while. takes a little while, but yeah. you figure it out. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, this is so bit easier. Then you get to enjoy the rest of the game, which is not a crazy amount. Like there are twelve tracks in total. Yeah, there are only the whole twelve game. tracks, and they're very short, which yeah. is why you have five laps. like five laps. That is the Yeah, I like the fact that it's just all like all the characters are kids. All of the characters in Speed Freaks feel like they feel different, but they don't feel different enough to be like. To, to throw you off. Yeah, you're not like, oh, this person's been this. The the main difference that I only just realized because I actually picked up a manual for Speed Freaks is that the different characters have different weight and speed specs. Yeah, if you actually, I, I noticed if you go into one of the modes, I can't remember which one it was, but if you go into the modes, it actually shows what, like, the stats of each character in game. Yeah, it does. And but you don't realize it because you're only playing tournament or versus, and it yeah. never shows that information to exactly. you. Exactly. It's like, why would you hide that? Oh, mind you, Mario Kart does that for every single yeah. game. Like, Mario Kart doesn't have, like, speed and weight classes that are really, like, super discreet. It's just like, no, this I is kind of. This was a bit heavy, it feels a bit different. You were like, you're gonna hate this more. But you realize it when you start playing it a heap, like, a yeah, shit ton. Like, sure. you realize that um, Buster and whoever it is, I never play them. The twins? Yeah, the twins. They the always way. fall back to the back because they're just they're terrible. They're really and suck. Tabitha and um, Brains are always at the front because they're like super just... Brains is always at the front? Yeah, it's Brains and Tabitha. I did notice that you were a fair bit... What was the character I was playing? It was... You were playing Tempest. Tempest. Which is like a redhead angry bitch. Which is every redhead ever. So yeah, that's, that's fair, yeah. I like to play Monica just because she's cool and yeah. also her class is just like... I've become so used to playing her class. Like, she, her, she's. If you get fucked over by something, it feels quite punishing on. Uh, on it feels Monica. so satisfying to the other person. It's so satisfying to the other person because you take such a long time to like, just recover. Yeah. Everyone else recovers like surprisingly quickly. Monica just does not recover, but like you just get good at like avoiding shit and getting like really fast. Do you? You do. I dropped a lot of bombs on you, and you ran into most well. You you were meant to hit both <laughs> of them. <laughs> yeah, that weird glitch happened in Iron Man. Those those characters are just perfect and everywhere. And I was saying like during the game, all the um, items are super well balanced. They are, yeah. Like the like okay, you know how in Mario Kart there's like the bullet bill which just basically propels you to the front and is like yeah. an absolute cheat and everyone is angry all the time, or like the blue shell which is just like yeah, immediately like that's, punishing. That's something that people have complained about in Mario Kart for the longest time, the amount of crazy rubber banding that you get. Yeah. Like if you're at, if you're in first, it is super hard to stay in first, but if you're in top, it's super easy to get out as well. Yeah. In this, I felt like there definitely was rubber banding, but it wasn't as extreme. It was not as extreme. It's like, a lot more actually, subtle. Yeah, you actually have to use your skills to get past other people. Yeah. Like you can't just hope for an item that's gonna get you good. You never pray to the iron to gods. That yeah, no. Oh, I mean, it happens more often when you're like further back, yeah. but not to the point where it's like, oh like, man, you I'm got, like, you got every single like first place bomb 
thing ever. Yeah. Because you are always last. And it, it obviously recognizes that you're having a tough time. Yeah. I but was. it's not like here's a free pass to get to the front. Yeah, no, it, it did feel very fair, but at the same time, it wasn't like, oh, you're losing. You can yeah. just deal with losing. Yeah, just it's deal like, with we'll it. We'll give you a hand, but not to the point where it's like you're cheating. Yeah, it, that's what's good. And like every time you get hit by something, you're like, I deserve this. Yeah. Like if they get the humming missile, it's like, I know this is going to happen, I can't stop it. And like the slimes, like I should have missed that, or the bomb, I should have missed that. The slimes are so easy to hit though. They are. Like they're, they're really hard. Yeah, yeah like, you can't hard. see that shit. Like in Mario Kart, you've got the bananas there, and yeah, it's like, oh, there's a banana over there. Bye. There's like a visual indication, but the slimes are like come up on your viewpoint. There's, like, oh! like that in addition to like the shitty steering mechanics. Oh like, my god. By the time you see the slime, you're like, should I need to steer? And instead of steering around it, you'll be you steering like, you be somewhere like, else into it. Yeah. yeah. It's really, really intense to try and do any sort of last minute maneuver in that yeah. game. It was just, it was amazing. And I think the reason why I super love Speed Freaks was that all the racetracks are gorgeous. Yeah, they are. Like, let's let's talk a bit about that then. Like, the visual, visually, because when you blow a game like that up to like super high res, yeah. like 1080p, compared to what it was, Everything like it's a lot easier to see the like the scenes show in yeah. a lot of games, and there was a bit of that that weird PS One polygon morphing thing going yeah, on. There was a lot of that, bit. and a bit of off screen drawing, um, like kind of on it kind of cut off polygons towards the end of the screen. Yeah. But those were very minor things, yeah. and so it didn't detract from how bright and vibrant and detailed, surprisingly detailed. Yeah, no, these tracks were. These tracks are amazing. Like. The, the first track you could do, which is like, you'll repeat it forever, because it's yeah, just, yeah. it's it's already a really just beautiful track. And you can see there are some, like, the anti aliasing engine is terrible. Like, yeah. you can see the static assets are just, like, flickering yeah, over. Sure. But it has, like, beautiful water and, it like, does. amazing, God, yeah. just, like, vistas and stuff, which yeah. you don't expect from a really low end console, but they just pull it off really well. And that wasn't even, like, that wasn't towards the very end of the PS1 life cycle either. That was, like, no, that was, like, pretty in mid, the middle. Yeah, yeah mid game. And it pulled it off really well. It was, yeah, it was super good. And um, things like the city just had a nice vibe to it. The nighttime, the nighttime yeah. track, it was Neon Park. I think yeah, it was Neon called. Park. It looked like, I feel like the, the word that I should really never use in my life that needs, that needs to be said for this game is aesthetic. It is so aesthetic. It is aesthetic. It has the best, like, just feel yeah. and like look of any of the tracks that I play. I enjoy playing it way too much. The, the weirdest thing is that like none of the characters feel out of place in any of the tracks. No, they just, like in Mario Kart sometimes it's like some things just don't gel, but you're yeah. like whatever everyone everyone's getting thrown into the same game. You can kind yeah. of go with that. But with this like this game they built from nothing and made these characters and made these stages, everything gels so well. Yeah, everything has been obviously planned out really well yeah. in the design phase. Like maybe the implementations of stuff with shit like just trying to steer and trying to use the drift is like not even shit. Just kind of, it's hard. Different. It's yeah, it's different and it's very hard to master. Yeah. But once you get it, it's like it, you, it pays off. A lot of the shortcuts, a lot of the more obvious shortcuts, mm -hmm. they do take a lot more skill to get into. Yes. Because they like you know they're there, but they still creep up on you. Yeah. Take you by surprise. Yeah. Some of the some of the surprising for such a small track that you still get like shocked whenever yeah. you get things and you're like, oh god. I need to remember that this exists. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you kept going because I wasn't. Most of the time, when I'd be playing any split screen game, right? Like you have a tendency to, to screen shape. Yeah. The, the tracks go by so fast that if I look at your thing and I know where you are, look back at mine and look at yours, you're in the shortcut. I have no idea how you've got that. Yeah, no, they, they just happen it's so, so quickly. It's so hectic. It happens so quickly. And, like, just the fact that all the levels are gorgeous and you can't like get away is just they, they've obviously yeah. thought about it and they're like yeah let's just make everything super pretty and like as much as there are only 12 tracks and a few unlockable characters it's worth coming back to again oh god it so is the music, music you said as well it's just gorgeous and it is it is like if that music appeared on the dance floor i'd be like yes crumps they recycle a lot of tracks for different things. Different they have tracks. themes, yeah, because they have like an island theme, stadium theme, oh, yeah, city theme, enough. and like beach theme. Okay, but they're, all those tracks are super long, and they all have their own style, and they're all amazing to listen to. Okay, and all the music in the interludes and the lobby and the finishing platform and yeah, stuff like are the, like the, super well crafted. The lobby music is so kind of chill. You it can't is. get really shitty with the people that you just smashed in the last race. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm going to play back music and what are you going to do another yeah, race? It's like, I feel like this is the one game where it's like, instead of focusing on the racing mechanic, they were like, can we make this beautiful while still being a decent racer? And they yeah. totally pulled it off. And they off. pulled it off. They really nailed it. They yeah. did it perfectly in this. And that's why I will consistently be like, if 
people wouldn't do races at like speed speed freaks. So I mean, works. you'll hate yourself, but it'll be fun if it works. If it ever works. Because like the pro the problem that we ran into a lot, and the reason why we played speed punks instead of speed freaks, is because it just it worked a bit faster. Yeah. Like it's it's been well known for a while. If you've been known, like if you've been into the PS One emulator scene, that's the same. Yeah. Um, that but like what, speed freaks is one of the games that. It's never really gelled well with any emulator on yeah, any no, platform. It, no, it's never done well, yeah. especially if you're on a mobile device, which I played the low speed frames. Must, you must have taken a lot of time. Yeah, I had to use the just whatever the PS render rule was, which meant there was a little bit of nostalgia because that thing was as shit. Oh yeah, you would have done the native browser. Yeah, shit. but it just didn't detract because I was just like, you know what, I played it as a pixely piece of shit does when it, I was on the PS1. Does it make it a, like a lot more worth it to play it in high def like that? I think I think so. I think in some aspects it yeah. does, like looking at the characters because they're, they're on the same screen. It does like draw attention. Look nice. It draws attention to a lot of the details that you can't see when yeah. you're playing a native, when you're playing a high def. But it's really about. the only problem is a lot. There's a lot of use of static assets, and they don't get optimized. Yeah, true. So you kind of still get that feel, but it feels like it's got a little bit more of a sheen of polish on it. That's fair. For yeah. the 3D stuff, but everything else is kind of like yeah, it has a little bit. Yeah, to look at. it has a little. But it, sometimes it, it kind of does look. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it just works. It just looks nice. It just the pixels. There's like it's a solid game, and there's plenty of it that is not fantastic and kind of hurts to look at and kind of hurts to play with. But the rest of it, the rest of the good overshadows that. Yeah, and it just mm. I've never felt any sort of like rage quit or like disgust towards Speed Freaks ever, ever, ever. Like I know that like some of the tracks are punishing and you mm -hmm. just get like fucked over. But I've never ever like raged enough to never play it again. I have never been just so dispassionate for the game that I'm like, fuck this. There's definitely been some races that, are, that have been like that with Yeah. Me. Mario Kart is like that sometimes as well, actually. Yeah, Mario Kart just loses its appeal after a while. You're just yeah. like, I just, I just want to do something very real. But like even, well, you've been, you've been playing Speed Freaks for the longest time, even with that limited amount of content, it's still worth coming back to. Oh, it's super, it super is. It really doesn't pull its punches as a PS1 game. Yeah. Like everyone's, everyone's always said that games have been getting easier, but like, Speed Freaks is a weird in between, yeah. where it has enough easy to draw people in, and then by the time you're having fun with that, you kind of have a grab on. Yeah, like, Mario Kart like, is just it. easy. Yeah, Anyone can come to the uh, come to Mario Kart and play it, and they'll be good at it yeah. instantly. Speed Freaks, you can be like alright when right. you start, but, you but it gives you the incentive it. to like actually yeah. grind enough to learn how to like, use control properly. Something as simple as just missing the power ups on the stage, which is ridiculously so easy, easy to, do. to do. Like how? How? How did like so many times you got the the two lines of speed ups? It's so easy to just just be like I'm gonna get all of these and then you get straight. Yeah, you go straight to the middle and then you collect out the last two at the end and you get like half two cells of so like shit. Three. And you're just like it just teaches you to get better. Like, you yeah. can get by. Yeah. But you need to get good in order yeah, to get you. Good. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you so much for playing for bringing speed freaks into my life. You're because so welcome. I think I'm going to try and unlock all those stages. It's gonna pass. If you if you're in awe of just like the first couple of stages, then the next like set of tournaments I'm really will just, will just blow your mind. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for coming on. Thank That's you for right. If you liked this episode of Upscale This, uh, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be more of these. I promise. Sorry. It'll happen. It'll happen. <laughs> I swear to God. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.